Are you a DIYer that likes doing work on your own cars and trucks? Well then you know the importance of having the right tool for the job, especially when it comes to changing your own tires. Now we all know that those big tire changers are pretty expensive and take up a lot of room in our shop. So today we're going to take a look at a better alternative. We're going to look at the Bead Buster XB452. The cool thing about this simple tool is it comes with two arms. The short arm is great for standard wheels like your cars, trucks, ATVs, side-by-sides, trailers, and then your longer arm is great for contoured wheels. Now that's what we're going to be working on here today. This is a contoured wheel off of a Toyota Camry. The thing about this kit is it fits virtually almost every wheel and project you're going to be doing out there when you're changing tires and wheels. Let's look at what we're going to need to get this job done. You'll need an impact with a three quarter inch socket, a valve gut remover, some tire irons, lubricant of some sort. You can use tire lube or soapy water, and if you don't have either one of those, WD-40 will be fine. And then last but not least, safety glasses. These are really important whenever it comes to removing the valve gut and seating the bead. The first thing we'll do is remove the valve gut. Now that we have the valve gut removed and all the air is out of the tire, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tire lube and we're just gonna go around the bead of the tire. And the reason you wanna run it the whole way around the tire is because you're going to take a couple swipes at this. You're not going to break the bead in one shot. Uh, it's best to kind of work the bead buster around and I'll show you how that's all done. So you'll take your bead buster XB452 with the long arm because this is a contoured wheel and we're going to push it down in here and then we'll take our clamp and we'll run it in there. And you'll want to make sure your bead buster is straight up and down. You don't want it pitched too hard one way or the other. If it's back too far, uh, your feet are going to be pushing into the wheel. If it's forward too far, your clamp will come off whenever you put some torque on it. There we go, it's off the bead. Now that we have the bead broke, the next thing you would do is take your tire irons, just work your tire off, put your new one on, and you're ready to head down the road. Whenever it comes to changing out your arms, it's pretty simple. There's a hinge pin here. On the other side, there's a wing nut. Just take your wing nut off, pull your hinge pin out, pull out your arm, and when you're putting your new arm in there, you want to make sure you put it in like this so that this Phillips screw is facing out. You don't want to put it in like this because you have a chance of scarring your wheel if you put that on the inside and it won't work properly. So we put our hinge pin back in there, put our wing nut back on here, and now we're ready to go. Well, there you go. That's the Bead Buster XB452. You can get more information on this and all their other tools and accessories at beadbuster.com.